What if all your spiritual giants fell away from the faith? Would you? I think that's an important question for us to consider. If all the spiritual giants of our day, sure, we all have our own spiritual giants, and that's okay. If you recall in Hebrews 11, there's the great hall of faith, men and women that we can look back on in time and say they've endured to the end. They were faithful. Well, in our day, there are people that we can appreciate men and women who are faithful to the Lord at our churches, those that we've watched for many years, people like Paul Washer, people like James White, others who have stood faithful and they've been solid rocks for us. But what if they fell away from the faith? What if they denounce Christ? Or what if there was some sexual sin or some uh, financial uh, scam that was taking place or some kind of pastoral abuse or um, neglect in the home that would create some kind of divorce or separation. You fill in the blank. What if that took place? Would that destroy your faith? I hope not. And this is a question that each of us really need to get down to at the center of our affections. Are we passionate about worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ for who he is? Or do we idolize someone so much and put them on a high pedestal that as soon as those four legs are knocked down, so too crumbles our faith? What if the allegations about John MacArthur are correct? What if new allegations come and they come to be true? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want you to feel skeptical about the leaders that you have. I think that we should appreciate and thank God for those who we have before us. And I don't use any of those examples to try to connect those things to those individuals or to anyone that you admire and look up to. That is not my intent at all. What I'm trying to communicate as best I can is that we are weak. We are feeble. If our hope and trust is in a person, aside from Christ alone, then we have put ourselves in a very vulnerable place. The reality is, if it were not for the grace of God, each of us would fall. Each of us would turn away from the Lord. And yet, even for those of us who are in Christ, who have truly tasted and seen that the Lord is good, we too may fall. Now, I pray that would not be the case for you and for myself. I pray that I would be faithful to the end. But do you remember Ravi Zacharias? Oh, Ravi Zacharias was a godly man. He was an educated man. He was a fire-filled man. And when he spoke, he spoke with zeal and passion. And it seems as if... Ravi Zacharias was living a double life his entire ministry. Now, God knows, I know that there are still some things being worked behind the scenes with that whole scenario, but it seems as if Ravi was guilty of living a double life. And yet, we admired him. We thanked God for him. We rejoiced in his wisdom and his intellect. We gleaned, we learned, and yet I wonder how many people fell once Ravi fell. Now, I don't have the numbers for that. And let me say this, if you or I or anyone falls away because of one of their evangelical leaders or leaders at the church falls away or whatever it is, that is a very serious matter. And I want to tread lightly when I talk about that, because I don't want to just say, oh, they were never a believer, because maybe they're going through a season of doubt and confusion, right? They're, they're bewildered. They're thinking to themselves, what happened? I mean, if this person who I looked up to as a spiritual giant wasn't faithful and didn't endure to the end, then who am I? 
I want to encourage you, beloved. If you have trusted in Christ, truly are secure in him and he will keep you to the end. And he may be using this hardship in your life or in my life as a teaching tool, as a lesson for us to learn that Christ is all in all. He is the beloved one. He is the one with whom we find our treasure, not in an individual, because individuals will fail us. But God is faithful to keep us to the end. Now, yes, have those that you look up to, those spiritual giants in your life, both dead and alive, that you can go to, that you can hear from and glean from, but don't put all your hope and trust in them. Put all your hope and trust in Christ alone. And I know you may be thinking to yourself, duh, we get it, of course, who would ever do that? Oh, brothers and sisters, our hearts are so fickle. We tend to wander away and we tend to put our hope into things and people as quick as the day comes. And so we must always keep a watch over our hearts and make sure that we are not guilty for exchanging the idols of wood and clay for flesh and bone. We must watch our hearts, all of us. So the question is, what if they fell away? Would you? By God's grace, I pray the answer is no. And I pray that if anyone who is a leader at your church or a mother in the faith or a father in the faith falls away, or if they fall down, right? The, the Bible says that a righteous man falls seven times and he gets back up. If they fall down, that they would continue to remain faithful to the Lord in spite of their falling, that they would get back up and that they would learn from this lesson, whatever it was, and that their faith would be strengthened. But for you and for me, let us pray that God keep us from making light of Christ. Let us pray that God keep us from turning away from Christ, that loving the things of this world would pale in comparison to the beauties and the excellencies of Christ. So if they fell away, would you? I pray not. I hope not. I plead that that would never be the case for any of us. And I pray that we would be faithful to the end. Well, that's all I have for today. God bless you. Grace and peace.